Okay, so I finished setting up the uh, maneuver node, and you may notice, oh, different skybox. Things look different. That's because I installed, ooh, look, Kerbin in the background, that's really cool. That's because I installed the new Renaissance pack uh, in between setting up my maneuver there. Yeah, I saw that it was released on Curse, so I decided, hey, you know what? That's a good time to go get it. So the Renaissance pack is what I've been using before with, uh, with the game to make it look the way that I do with all the textures and everything. However, this is more or less uh, a, an updated version of it. So I, I overwrote some of the th overwritten, over overwroted some of the uh, some of the changes I had made to my old pack. But overall, you'll notice vaguely the same looking stuff. Uh, some of my parts will look a little different, but oh, that sun. So let me let me show you. So this is one of the reasons why I installed it is because they added a new uh, sun glare effect. And I think it's just rad. Yeah, I love it. It's it's really cool. It's, it kind of gives you an idea that the sun in our system here is different than the sun, you know, in and soul which is the 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 solar system we're a part of so it's kind of cool to see that and of course you know we got our uh, 4k skybox which is really pretty out of that as well and then there's some other things like there's some different uh different suit models and stuff like that and you could see like the land and gear are black and that was that's always been in that pack but for the most part uh i'm really Really quite enjoying the new stuff and the, the changes that they've done. Anyways, before we land, we, we have a good lineup here. So as I get over my spot, I'm just going to slow down and pretty much go straight down on it, which is uh, that's going to work out quite well for me, actually, believe it or not, uh, because of the low gravity that we tend to experience here. However, we need to do some things. So we need to do a crew report up in space here uh we'll transmit that back and then we will also uh who wants to get out who wants to be the first eva around minmus probably burfree i think so so he's gonna eva we're gonna get uh the eva report here we're gonna get that we're gonna go back inside ship this back and i want to keep this open because i want to keep an eye on my fuel and all that uh, okay, so I like how it's using that uh, transmitter and not the one that I have on the top. Either way, I need to really get this just right. And I also need to pull up my map in the meantime uh, of Minmus so I know exactly what biomes I'm going into. That's not too bad. Uh, getting right there on the whatever it is. I actually don't know what that is. So I'm gonna look on the map. I'm gonna figure out where the heck I'm landing. I think that's gonna be a pretty important step to this. Uh, we got kind of a big area here. It's, it's a little hard to tell where this is. Um, I'm gonna say it is the Greater Flats. So uh, if this is the Greater Flats right here, are the Midlands, then we have Lowlands up here, uh, and in between there's some some slopes. <laughs> That's just the name of the biomes, don't judge me. Oh, oh also I should probably mention before any of you uh, figure it out, uh, the, the lighting is going to feel a little different. They apparently, quote unquote, a realistic lighting system is what they implemented with this uh, Renaissance pack. You can find the pack on Curse, like I said before. It's something like um, KSRPC or something like that, uh, if there's an acronym for it. But for the most part, it's it, I just search Renaissance on the um, on the, the Source Forge, whatever it is. Uh, I don't even know what they call it. The Curse Forge. The, the mod thing on Curse. Look, you search for it on there, you'll find the Renaissance pack, and it's really easy to install. But for the most part, I really do like the uh, new lighting. The dark stuff is a lot darker, and the lit stuff has got kind of a cool look to it. So we'll, we'll keep this mod pack around for a while, and if I, if I make any adjustments, it'll probably be to textures alone. Also, I'm not running in 64-bit at the moment. It was crashing if I didn't run in 64-bit. So we're back into 
32 bit and far is working yet again so yeah this it's it's a lot back and forth modding this game can sometimes be a massive pain in the butt and other times uh, it is the most joyful thing you'll ever experience but i need to start preparing my maneuver here it says i have 3000 meters to go i'm uh yeah i'm going to need to be going like 1 meter a second when i drop off the magnus so let's slow down a little bit i actually don't really need to do it right this moment but we will do it a little bit. Uh, I do have lights facing straight down so I can see exactly where my landing uh, is gonna happen as I get closer, especially if I did it in some of these darker areas. And you gotta remember we're like right on the cusp. Like this is the lit part of Min Mist. We're like, uh, you know, we're on the sunrise here. So the lighting isn't gonna be uh, super helpful for me as far as figuring out where my shadow is. Because I think it should be that way. But I won't see it until... It's it's a bit too close to call, I would say. One thing I need to make sure about as we're going down is that I, I go straight up and down when I drop this thing. Otherwise, it may flip and rotate. So I, I just got to be wary of that as we get a bit closer to the ground. Because that will be the last thing that we want to have to do is try to flip it back over. We're getting pretty close here. The other thing I need to do is make sure that I'm as straight up and down as far as velocity as I can potentially get. Because I do not, that, like I said, do not want it to hit these engines. Because things will break off, then I have to repair it. We don't want to start using parts uh, that I brought as a just-in-case. Because I you know, sucked at landing it. Instead, I want to be able to land it and not have any issues whatsoever. Okay, so... One meter a second is what I'm going to shoot for here, and I'm still pretty far up, still 200 meters above the ground. So, uh, the lighting is also kind of freaking out. It's, it's all boxy. But, uh, I think... I think I actually have this. I don't think I'm going to have any issues. Okay, let's get ready to undock it. I'm gonna turn off my lights. Don't really need them at the moment. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Just gently come down. I can't I can't actually touch down because this will get crushed and it does break. And uh, you can't actually decouple it because it'll reattach. So I need to make sure that I'm going very, very slow here. Oh, this is this is gonna be the most complicated landing I've ever had to do. Okay. We're almost there. Okay, oop, so close. Okay, here we go, decouple. And now we lift off. Okay, good. Uh, a little bit more this way. Thank you. Oop, come back. And we don't want to land on it. I don't think we're going to. It doesn't look like it. Wow, this is beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. I, I can't believe how awesome that was. Let's crew report. Let's send that out. Let's uh, let's do our soil analysis. We'll keep that. Uh, we're going to start on the left side from the hatch and then go clockwise or counterclockwise. So we have this. We'll keep that, um, which means we have all of our other stuff over here. We will keep that. Uh, log gravity data. Keep that. Seismic stuff. We'll do that. And temperature. I don't think I can actually do the barometer, but yeah, so that's that's fine. I kind of expected that. That's more for future missions to other areas than it is here. Okay, we will fire our laser. And we got that. So we can close camera. Cool, so we have all of that stuff now. Nice. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, because Burfree was the first EVA... Uh, Gus room is going to be the first to actually step on min miss itself. Oop. I don't have a ladder. I purposely didn't put one on because I needed to save the space for, you know, all my science stuff. Okay, let's take a surface sample. Take an EVA report. We'll plant our flag. Do we want to? I'm going to quick save real quick before doing that. Uh, plant flag on moon. Plant flag on min miss. Cool. Let's plant this flag. 
and we will do it as the uh, first landing. I don't know what our, our plaque should be. Rovers uh, deployed without damage. Yeah. I think that's important. Okay, cool. We can take this. That's a thousand science right there just from completing that. Let's get back up into this so he could be nice and toasty. It is quite cold on Minmus, apparently. Oop, gone the wrong direction. And it's time for them to uh, do their thing where they are going to deploy the rover. So we are going to put the wheels out like so. Oop. As you could tell, it's, it's actually pretty... Uh, pretty low grav here. Which direction should I go? Uh, probably to this little peninsula, which I think is the lowlands. I'll check again. Uh, yes. It should be the... Or midlands. It should be the midlands. Cool. Let's find out. So we're just gonna go off this direction over to that hill without bumping into our craft. As you can tell, the... The handling of this thing is much different than it is on Kerbin because you have the, you know, the different gravity. You don't want to necessarily use all of your, uh, your power. So I'm, you know, I'm making sure that even if I do get up to speed, you know, probably 20 meters a second, kind of that we're, Ooh, is something broken? Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. This is awesome, but I don't think this is what they wanted to do. Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. Okay, if it's going to flip it, we just really got to flip it. Whoa. Oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is what a slow motion accident looks like. We have seriously built the best rover in the world. That was amazing. I am turned around. However, uh, that could have gone a lot worse. This is the first time that they have actually used the Magnus in low gravity. So, uh, obviously going straight and not turning at speed is going to be our goal. I could turn on RCS. I don't know why I'm throttling up doesn't work that way i could turn on rcs and that would definitely stabilize us in those situations uh, and i'm gonna have to remember to do that because i do have some rcs thrusters and fuel so that should save us but i really oh i wonder i bet you i can take the rover back with us i was just gonna leave the rover here but i'm pretty sure i could bring the rover back and recover all of the amount of money that i had to put into this the only problem that I'm just realizing that that would happen, I mean, I do have the shield on the bottom, so that would certainly help, but re-entry into Kerbin's atmosphere may cause things to just absolutely get destroyed. So I'm going to have to keep that in mind uh, if I decide to bring the Magnus back with us or if I want to just leave it here. For the first time ever, we're about to test how this thing might be on with brakes. Uh, I don't know if it's just going to, like, roll forward. Oh, front flip. RCS, quickly. RCS. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so apparently uh, my front brakes need to be disabled. So which way's forward? This way? Okay, so we need to... Uh, ooh, how do I want to do this, actually? Let's, let's lock the steering of these two wheels and we will disable the motor on those two okay so now it's a front wheel drive or a, a real rear wheel drive vehicle with the front wheel turning so it's your basic like road car is what i just turned it into but i don't know if that will disable the brakes or not so we'll find out as we get a little bit further up this hill here 
I'm also only going five meters a second, so it's not really a good judge of. Nope. Okay, so whoop. at least we have RCS. That'll certainly help. Thank you.